we will going to explain in this. So let's start the first floor to get an understanding about how we do this task in 3D. Okay, so let's start. For our location, and uh, we have the borehole location, okay, different borehole location. I open this. So let's consider this one is my borehole depth. Okay, so this is uh, my borehole depth. That I want to represent is how the borehole depth is looking like. Okay, so for this, how we are going to do the very first, you just uh, switch off this two information. options come to the view options and simply click on convert to the local cell so let us be con uh, convert and let's wait for the results now this surface is came so you know like whenever you are converting the 2d to 3d surface you know that our I mean, so the, that's world elevation 3d data is always coming okay what you need to do you just need to switch off this one Okay, and uh, here you just need to add the elevation source layer. Now, this Bangalore them. Okay, so if I am selecting it and click on OK, now uh, this will add as an elevation. Now you can convert your scene to the 3D scene as we see here, and just simply converting this as a 3D scene. Okay, and now the next step is you want to take this Bangalore ground data from this 3D layer. You just simply drag it now. Uh, let me just remove this layer, it's not required now. Absolute high cleaning. So, you see the feature which is excluded to the specific value platform. What you are to select, so simply select it. Now, you can give the actual height with the meter, so then maybe you will not visualize in a better way as it is a visualization technique. So, you can. Okay, so that's why I'm simply converting it as a kilometer. Okay, so value will convert in kilometer. The formula over the ground water. So this is my not water, that is borehole depth. Okay, so I will just multiply with minus one. If you want to see more of it, then you can go with multiply with. And the problem. So as I already converted in kilometer, so there is no need for the exaggerations of the value using this. Okay. Um, so means uh, going to the value is more. Suppose if you want to take in meter, then maybe you want to multiply the value with minus point five or twenty six. But then you will get more exaggerated value to see the border depth. Okay. So as of now, I will just convert in kilometer, so I can it will be sufficient to see uh, in in this. Uh, same okay so simply you can click on how nicely it converted over the boreholes you can get the information okay so if you want to get more visualization things like here uh, this is if i want to change the color so i can change this color in a red so it will looks much better so you will get this much better and if you see this point, it will not visualize properly uh, over this 3D. So, what you do, you can add one more layer in the 2D. So, simply come to this, okay, like data, so whatever the groundwater data sets will be there. Uh, options will be there. Simply open one more. What you need to do, just simply come to this, and I just a little bit and change this color pattern also. If I but uh, I want to change it so that in a more better way you can 
understand this is the update this is the process of how we converting in 3d so and if you want to compare uh, these two results from 2d and 3d so you can side by side and you see here how nicely we can compare these two this is a very useful technique so okay just you can simply share it and you can see those locations as well as the borehole height for borehole locations and borehole depth okay so side by side you can compare and for very much uh, for the different kind of cleaning investigations people who are working for the groundwater and if you want to go for more analysis like um, you can say i will just tag and drop this and you come back to this and if you see here from the downwater level okay so if you want to do the interpolation okay, so that you can do also okay so then you can compare like feature okay so in this case you have to go to the analysis okay and here we have a very good tool as a wizard like uh, use physical wizard and uh, you will have a lot of geospherical technique in the pollution okay you can use the inverse uh, distance of technique which i usually use like use mean okay, and using this i can make uh, like this is the groundwater level that you so you can using the groundwater level so you can understand where is the ground level is high or low so accordingly you can compare with the borehole depths okay so that will be a good study to get an understanding about What we just showed you, okay, and this is a <coughs> different borehole locations. So <coughs> you can compare these two also accordingly and get understanding of it. So I hope uh, this uh, techniques will be useful for you. All, okay, so if you find this video is interesting, so I will request everyone so please subscribe uh, my channel and share this video to the others. A uh, lot of people from different groundwater divisions they are actually requesting me for this particular video okay so that's why uh, i just creating this video so i hope they will they can now able to do how to create the boreholes in in 3d the boreholes depths to understanding in 3d so this is the visualization this is the exact visualization process okay not exact the depth okay but this is a visualization you by the examination of the model depth, I can visualize which one is the more depth, which one is the less. So, all uh, from my side. So, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel 